Hi guys, welcome to Roscoe's YouTube channel. So I'm getting on here today to give you a review of the food that I feed him. Um, just want to give you a little history on when I rescued Roscoe. So I rescued Roscoe in August of 2016. Took him to the vets for the first time in September of 2016. Um, he had horrible skin when I got him. He had a tail pocket infection. Um, he had bumps. He was losing hair all over his skin. Um, so the first time I took him to the vet, you can see, here's the bill, um, $149. They gave me some Pharmaceb, which was a shampoo that I was supposed to use. Um, his skin continued to get worse. So I have... Um, November of 2016, took him to the vets. Um, they did a skin scraping. They give him a, a allergy shot, um, which was $84. They gave me more shampoo. They gave me an antibiotic. Um, that bill was $201. That was in November of 2016. I then took him back in May of 2017 for another allergy injection, which was another $84. I then again took him back in September of 2017, another uh, allergy injection, which was again $84. I then happened to start doing some research and came across Victor. Prior to this, he was on, oh gosh, I had him on Zignature, limited ingredient, um, when I first rescued him, he, I was told that he had urinary tract infections all the time. So he was on a special urinary food, um, that I was paying, you know, a lot of money for $20 for a little 16 pound bag, which didn't last very long. Um, so I was at a rally for pets and I came across this Victor dog food. Um, I did a lot of research on it. He started on this in 2017 right after his um, allergy injection. It is now 2021 and I have not had him back to the vet since for an allergy injection. This food is amazing. Um, so beef meal and brown rice formula is what I feed him. Now, mind you, I never had any allergy testing done because I wasn't gonna put him through that. Um, the allergies seem they didn't seem seasonal. They didn't seem to be because of grass. Um, I just think that he, you know, typical bulldog had bad skin. So this Victor, um, as you can see, 77% comes from protein from meat sources, 2% protein from plants and veggies, 21% protein from grain sources. Um, you hear a lot of controversy about feeding grain to your dogs. Um, I'm living proof that he has been on this since 2017. It's now 2021 and he's not had a breakout or any skin issues. His coat looks amazing. Um, there's also a bunch of different things in it. Selenium yeast, mineral complexes, prebiotics, probiotics, which, you know, if you have a bulldog, all that's important. Um, let me just turn it around and show you the back here. So you can see it gives you a little example of um, why this is important. So um, the selenium yeast supports metab metabolic function, cellular regeneration, and a strong immune response. The prebiotics promote immune defense and healthy digestive symptom systems. The mineral complexes support a healthy coat and skin paw pad integrity, immune response, and efficient metabolism. The probiotics promote healthy digestion and a strong immune system. Um, so just showing you here, um, the first ingredient is beef meal. I know a lot of people say that when the first ingredient is corn, that is not good. Um, if you read through all of these ingredients, corn is not listed on there anywhere. Um, there is a bunch of extracts in there. Um, there's vitamin D3, there's rosemary extract, there's green tea, there's spearmint, inulin, folic acid, um, vitamin B12. There's all kinds of good things in there for um, skin. Selenium yeast, brewers, dried yeast, which is something that, you know, they recommend you give dogs that have allergies. 24% um, protein, which is, you know, decent.